Hello everyone, this is Talk Time with Cynthia. I'm coming today, I want to talk on um, a title, um, um, about being blessed and how a lot of people don't like to see you being blessed and it bothers people when you're blessed. You understand what I'm saying? For some reason, I don't know why, because for me, I've never been like that. I've always been in the space of, I'm excited when people are blessed because that let me know that it's possible. Whatever they accomplished and whatever they done and how they are blessed, meaning that if they can be blessed that way, I can be blessed too. So it makes it possible. So I'm excited for them, for, for number one, because I'm just that person. I, I, I love to see people blessed because I've been through some very difficult times in my life. So I know what it's like to um, go through something and feeling like you down to your last or feeling like uh, you down at the bottom and you can hardly see your way through uh, through the cloudiness of your trial, your tribulations or what it is that you go through. So when I see people are blessed, I can understand that um them being happy or them not, I don't, I don't want to say bragging, but if that's what they want to do, they can do that too, right? Because they did whatever it takes to accomplish whatever it is that, uh, whatever situation it is that they are blessed in, that they made that possible, them in the good Lord above made that possible for them to be in that space, right? So, of course, I've written down some things, guys. Y'all know how I do. I, I, I jot things down, so um, some talking points. And then I'm going to probably end up reading some of it off to you. But before I get started, I want to say thank you guys so much for um, hanging out with me and being interested in what I have to say. I really appreciate that. And I want to say... Um, Thank you to my subscribers, my viewers, even the ones that click on for a second and decide that they want to leave. I'm grateful for that too, because I'm, I'm, I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm appreciative of like every, everything. So I, I want to just say thank you so much. And then also I would like to say, and I do this at the beginning because I do realize um, people click on and they don't get to the end of my video, so I like to just give out my thanks and my accolades and everything to the people that um do uh, click on for however long. But I like to do it up front so people get to hear it. You understand what I'm saying? So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my video. Don't forget to tell your family and your friend what your girl Sin is doing. Because we try to keep it popping over here on the positive side. Y'all know how we do. Love, peace understanding, compassion, joy, uh, unity, togetherness. That's what we're doing over here. That's what this platform is for. So if that's not what you're about, we appreciate you in human form, but we don't need no negative over here. So this ain't the place for you. Appreciate you stopping by. But we're just going to, you know, say keep it pushing not in a dis disrespectful way, but we just want positive over here. And hopefully you can get, get that, whatever that is, together. And then come on back. Because we'll have you after you got it worked out. Understand what I'm saying? So <laughs> anyway, so let me go ahead and get started. And um, I'm going to be reading some of it. And then I'm going to discuss whatever it is I'm trying to say about it. So the beginning of this is... um. Don't dumb down your blessings to make other people happy. Because it's hard um, when you are blessed and then you see somebody who are not blessed. And you don't want to come off as braggadocious. But at the same time, you don't want to feel like you have to hide your blessings because of what 
they going through because I'm pretty sure you have gone through your trials and your tribulations. Now it's now this is your time and your moment to shine and be happy, excited, and joyous, and all of that. So don't feel like you have to hold back because you have to let God know how excited and and and, and amazed you are. At the fact that he blessed you, he took took and put you in a beautiful space. So don't don't hold back on that. Because for number one, it ain't fair to him and it ain't fair to you, number two. I mean, because I mean you have every right to be joyous. You have every right to want to share and be like, hey, I'm blessed. And you you know, you hear some people say people who are truly blessed don't have to um, say that they blessed. Why not? Why not? Why not? Why not say that you are blessed? I mean, you should be able to stand in the fullness of blessedness. You should be able to do that. Okay? They might be unhappy in seeing you because they are in the space to where they are. But so, what they need to do is figure they, they, them out and not be so focused on you and what you're doing. But like I said, don't don't dumb down your blessing. You're being blessed. You be excited. You be happy. Uh, you give God the glory. Um, you just shine. You smile. You be excited. I mean, just glow in being blessed. You understand what I'm saying? And then it says, because you made the sacrifice to get there. You made the sacrifice, right? You uh you did without, especially if you got kids, and 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 you did without you know things so that your kids can have whatever they need you know so they didn't feel the blunt of whatever it is that was going on. You made you made sure that you know they had they clothes, they hair done, they lit uh socks, underwear, um lit lit. Uh, a costume jewelry or real jewelry or whatever you could afford. You made those sacrifices. You understand what I'm saying? So the fact that um let me let me go ahead and, and, and say what uh, the, the other stuff. And then um and you was there, you was present with them when they went through problems and when they went through troubles and when they went through daily trials, you couldn't focus on what you were going through because you were focused on your kids and what they were going through and trying to be present for them. So you can even focus on what, 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 what you were going through. Like for instance, for me, um, I was five and a half months pregnant when I lost my husband and I had a five year old. So I couldn't sit there and be focused on what I was going through. And then five, five months later, I had a, a baby. So I couldn't grieve. I couldn't go through, and I still haven't grieved, y'all. And I'm telling you, and sometimes if there are moments where I have moments of trying to grieve, but you know, my youngest she turned 18 in October, so now I'm just, and I still got to um, figure out college and stuff with her, so I don't have time for that. And and I'm sure it might hit me full force. You know, because that's what I'm told. You know, maybe, maybe not. I'm not sure. Everybody agrees differently, right? So, um, you you don't have time to sit up there and, you know, and focus on that type of stuff. Because you you focusing on your kids. You understand what I'm saying? And, and um, because, like, when I had, you know, like I, had, like I said, I had the five-year-old. Then I had the baby. I had to hit the ground running. I was going to college. Um, I was working, I was taking them to two different schools because they was five years apart. I was taking one to the daycare and one to a regular school. You understand what I'm saying? So I had all that doing. And then at one point, and y'all don't think I'm lying, and those of you that have done it, you know I ain't lying. I had uh, two jobs. <laughs> two jobs in trying to do all of that. But I did it, right? I made the sacrifice. I made sure I was present for them. I made sure that they didn't suffer none of that. You understand what I'm saying? You know, and um, helping them with homework, you know, you're trying to figure out a problem and you think you're looking at the problem and you actually done fell asleep over the problem and they looking at you talking about mama. 
of mama wake up because you done fell asleep trying to help them figure out problems and you been out of school for like how many years? Like sure, some of us been out of school for like uh, 30, 40 years and we, we trying to help them with that homework that is so different from what we were used to. And then sometimes we looking at it like, what? well, what the heck is this? I, I ain't never seen this. I, I, we never did this in school. So anyway, because um, when we went to school, two plus two was four. But now when they go to school, two plus two is four. But it's a whole different way to get to you. You understand what I'm saying? So you just have to... Um, and then also, let me let me um say the the, the last little one on the, this point. And then it says you you did what you had to do. Yeah, you do what you have to do. You know, um like they say, you do what you have to do so you can do what you want to do later on. And you have to make sure your kids turn out. And I ain't saying I'm perfect, but I'm saying you do the best that you can with your kids, and you focus on your kid. You can't be trying to focus on your kid and on no man. You know what I mean? Now, maybe some people can do that. No judgment there. I'm, I'm going to be honest about that because you got some people that can just focus on their man and focus on the kid or whatever and still be uh, not overlook the kids. But for me, um, I just made sure that I focus on the kids. And then later on, uh, the guy came in and was like, uh, or whatever. You understand what I'm saying? But, um, uh, when they live, impressionable, my focus, my kids. You know what I'm saying? So, but yeah, um, but yeah, you did what it took. And so you have the right to be excited, to be happy, because you made the sacrifices. You did without. You made sure that um you was present. You made sure that um those things that needed be, to be done was done, right? And so you deserve to be blessed. Remember that you deserve to be blessed for the fact that um, you put in the work to get where you are in the space of blessing. So when somebody looking at you and feeling some type of way because looking all around you, all they can see is blessings all around you, but they don't know what it took to get you there. So that's one other reason why you shouldn't dumb down your blessing of being blessed because it took so much for you to get there. You understand what I'm saying? It took a lot for you to get there of crying at night when everybody's asleep or uh, trying to figure out how you're going to pay that bill or um how you're going to get them extra pair of shoes or how you just bought uh, a, a school clothes for the one child and all of a sudden they decided to get a, a growth spurt. So the money that you had set aside, you had to take that money, uh, that, um, that money and go buy another, uh, another set of school clothes because they decided in like a month or so they were going to have a growth spurt. No, nobody knew that. What, what you going to do? We like, well, I know they gonna grow. No, you don't know. My oldest, she had a, a gross a spurt. And I was like, well, dog, I just bought these clothes. So, but yeah, um, so yeah, um, but yeah, so you, you just, you made the sacrifices to be able to smile and, 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 and cheese or whatever you want to do about being blessed. And you can't let nobody block that. You got to be excited. You got to be happy. And you got to uh, be in that space of um, gladness that you were able to make those sacrifices to get you there. Because a lot of people ain't able to make sacrifices to get them there because they're selfish. They don't take care of their kids. They don't do what it takes. Um, they feel like um, uh, they, can't, they don't want to be around their kids. Their kids are too much for them or whatever. Um, and I don't want to be so judgmental in that space. That's not what I'm coming here to do, to be judgmental in that uh, space. But <clears throat> to let you know that even though uh, we have moments where our kids got on our nerve too, but we stayed there. We stuck it out. So that's a reason to be 
happy that you are blessed because you stuck in there. You did the doggone thing and you made it happen by the grace of God. You made it happen and you was able to pull through until you got to your space of blessing. So don't dumb down your blessing, right? So then um, another thing I said, I said standing in the moment of your blessing and feel feel, feel it deeply. So yeah, you got to stand, the mo- stand in the moment of your blessing and feel it deeply. And when you put yourself in the moments of blessing and you feel it deeply, that creates more moments of blessing because you're trying to keep yourself in that moment, in that feeling of blessing. So you, you, you have to keep yourself there by feeling it deeply. Because if you're feeling like half blessed, then that's what's going to happen. You're going to, you're going to, uh, the universe is going to start to sit, start sending you moments that you can appreciate. And if it's half blessing, that's what it's going to be. But if you uh, come, um, appreciate the full moment of your blessing, of being blessed, and that's what the universe is going to continue to send you. So you have to do it. Okay? Uh, then it says, show people you are blessed. And they know, so they know what bless, uh, what being blessed looks like. Because you do have some people that can't appreciate People who are blessed, and they're gonna look over at you and be like, "Goodness!" And they might come up and uh, up to you and be like, "You know what? I noticed that you are so blessed all the time. You're always smiling. You're always happy. What is it that you are doing?" And and that's just like um, uh, um, being in that place where God can use you like that too. So you can be a disciple of saying, "Hey." Um, this is what I'm doing. This is what you can do. If they asking you, you understand what I'm saying? And sometimes we can get in a space of trying to give that information out before it's asked for. And sometimes people, people who can't appreciate it, who cannot appreciate it, get kind of upset about it. So sometimes you have to put that lock and key on that mouth. And I'm talking to myself because I have that problem because I just be feeling like if I'm blessed, I want to share it. I want to give it to people. You understand what I'm saying? And, but you, sometimes people ain't in that space yet that they can receive that fact that you are being blessed and they are not blessed. So they, they can't appreciate that. So sometimes you have to really, 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 really be careful. But if you got somebody coming up to you, seeing you happy, seeing you excited, seeing you in a moment of blessing, then um, and they asking you share it, give them the whole fullness of it. Just let them know. You understand what I'm saying? But for those who can't can appreciate it, then you know, just pray for them. That's all you can do for them. But don't dumb down your blessing, right? So um then um it says um say you are blessed out loud because you are blessed. Say it out loud because you are blessed. No matter if people can't appreciate it, say you are blessed out loud. Because when you say you are blessed out loud, out, out loud, the universe grab a hold to it and send you more moments of blessing. So you gotta say it out loud. Don't take it and put it on a, a, a bushel. Put it on a hill. Let that light of blessing shine upon a hill. And that's a, 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 a scripture in the Bible. It might not say it quite like that. But um, just try, just do your own research on that and look it up. About putting your light on a hill. And don't put it on a, a bush to hide it. But put it on a hill so people can see your light of blessing. So they'll know how to get to being blessed. Because you can be a blessing by being blessed. And allowing people to know that you are blessed. I'm not saying go with child, I'm saying child, I'm saying. Oh, Hold on guys, I'm sorry. Um, that was my phone and I do apologize for that. So, but yeah, um, 
I'm not saying, saying you all oh, child, I'm blessed. All oh, child, I'm blessed. I'm, but you know, if they asking you, let them know you blessed. How you doing today? Blessed, highly favored of the Lord. Let them know. I used to have a problem with that and not because I was jealous or upset with people. But, um, I don't know. It, but now I realize you get for the stuff that people go through and the trials they go through and they are blessed, they have a right to say, I am blessed. I am highly favored. I feel good. I'm in the moment. I'm happy. I'm excited. They have a right to do that. Even though there's people that might be around them who are not blessed, they have a right to say that they are blessed. You understand what I'm saying? So don't dumb down your blessing. Don't do not do that. So, But you have a right to, to be blessed. You have a right to say you're blessed. You have a right to stand in the moment of being blessed. Those are your rights because you made the sacrifice to get into that space. So, okay, so then it says, uh, don't let people make you feel bad about being blessed. Don't let them make you feel bad because <clears throat> some people are just, you know, they angry, they bitter, and they just don't want to see nobody blessed. If it ain't them being blessed, they don't want nobody else to be blessed. Have you ever heard that term that they say it says uh, misery love company? That's that's a true statement, child. That's a true statement. You hear me? Because I just feel like, and not trying to put myself on a pedestal or nothing, and, and maybe this is something other people might can adapt. If I'm going through something, I kind of stay by myself in it. Or if you got somebody you could talk to, but I'm more of a private person, so this is a different thing for me, this um, sharing thing. But I'm more of a private person, and I, and I like to try to deal with my stuff on my own or whatever. But um, it, it just it's just some people. Um, it's, I don't lost my train of thought, y'all. I'm old, but yeah. So you have to um, you have to um, let people know you are blessed. Okay, so what did I read? Don't let people make you uh, feel bad about being blessed. But yeah, you 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 can. I mean, because like I said, you you make the sacrifices to get there because people do. I mean, they for some reason they just can't be happy. They just cannot. They just cannot be happy for you. You know what I'm saying? They, it's just like you know. I don't know. But we all go through things. We all suffer, and we just all figure out different ways to get past it. And some people, uh, they they they. Uh, I don't, I don't know, or just stuff it down and move on, and the stuff is still there. But when you're going through stuff, you have to deal with it, um, sort it out. Because if you don't deal with it and sort it out, it's still gonna be there holding you back in your life. It's gonna be like a ball and chain on your foot, and you're gonna be dragging it around, and you ain't gonna be able to get to where you need to get in life. So. Don't be angry and mad at other people because they decide to deal with their problem and work it out. And you decide to dra uh, drag the ball and chain around. You understand what I'm saying? And, and, and just uh, focus on uh, you, 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 and you can't do that. You got to focus on the problem, which is, if it might be you um, not really um, being the mother that you need to be for your kids or paying your bills on time and making sure and putting money away and saving or whatever like that. It's different things that help you to get to a space of blessing. Being a good mother, uh, paying your bills on time, putting money away, saving money. So when they, when, when you get um, to a space where, you know, you can um, not have to struggle so much. You understand what I'm saying? Figuring out ways to make life easy for you, opposed to just focusing on just what uh, uh, instant gratification. Uh, you have to focus on uh, things where you're doing what you have to do now, and then uh, later on, you'll be able to do what you want to do. But you have so many people that 
will take and get the gratification up front. And, and that's when life don't go the way it needs to go when you get that gratification up front, right? So, okay. So then it says, you have the right to be happy about being blessed because you made all the sacrifices. You, you made all the, you made all the sacrifices to be blessed. You did that. I'm, I think I'm looking the wrong way. Okay, yeah, that little camera. You did that. You made all the sacrifices to be blessed. You did that. So you deserve um, to be happy about it, to be excited about it, because you stayed on track and you made it happen. And then, okay, so this is more or less to the people who feeling um, slighted or feeling like um, they should be further along in their life or feeling like they're going to be unhappy because other people are blessed. I want to speak to them in a sense because we love them too. We love them. And everybody make mistakes in life and, and situations are perfect. Even though we are blessed, situations are still not perfect. You understand what I'm saying? But we all have moments of blessings. You understand? We all we go through things uh, periodic from time to time. But, I mean, you can create uh, multiple moments of blessing, folks. So when you do go through those moments of feeling like, um, you're going through something. You can look back on all the blessings that you have already. Correct? Okay. It says people who are who is angry about seeing someone being blessed is convicted um, because it shows them their own shortcomings. So don't be upset with them. Pray for them. Don't let them go your moment of blessings. You can be blessed too. Okay, so this is it. You can be blessed too. Start by being genuinely happy for other people. And that's how you get started. Be genuinely happy for other people. And once you become genuinely happy for other people, then it's going to make you want to connect with them and find out, how, girl, how did you do that? Um... And then people, people who are blessed, it's just waiting for somebody to walk up to them and ask them. And they are so open about sharing their blessings as long as you're genuine. We ain't going to just dump what we went through on somebody uh, and just, you know, be open. But when you're, show, when you're showing us that you are genuinely happy <clears throat> for us, excuse me, I need to take a drink of water. Excuse me, my throat got dry. <clears throat> and you showing us that you're genuinely happy, excuse me, for us. Then we open up and we, we'll show, we'll say, hey, this is what I did. This is what, and then maybe y'all going through some similar things and she could tell you what she did. Sometimes the same thing don't work. Sometimes the same thing do. And then you could take what they uh, share with you and then create your own um, tools of getting out or getting past whatever your trial is, right? And then it says people, it said genuine happy for me. It's, it's for us, okay. Then it says what goes around comes back around, right? When you're happy for people and happy of their blessings and you're sending that happiness out to a un the universe that you're excited and you're happy about other people being blessed, then, and then you start, um, Connecting with the people, then the universe starts showing you, uh, giving you stuff. And I say, what well, goes around, come around. When you're happy for people, people will be happy for you. When you're unhappy for people, then people are unhappy for you. And you just get that around and around and around. And then in your mind, you feeling like, oh, people are so jealous of me. No, you're getting back. And they might be, not saying that they're not, but you just getting back what you're putting out. So you got to put out that positive. You got to put out that good. Because it's like when you put not, for instance, I always use the, 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 um, the, um, the example of a swing. When you push a swing out and that swing don't just stay out right, the swing comes back to you. So if you pushing good out, 
the good ain't gonna stay there. The good gonna come back, right? And sometimes it double. So you, you never know. Then it says, um, uh, what's at the end of it? Oh, it says, um, it is never too late to change. It takes more, it, it is never too late to change. It takes more energy to be angry than to be happy. So save your energy. Don't be upset when you see somebody blessed. Get excited because why? It is that make you that let you know it is possible to be done. And if they can do it, you can do it too. And if you don't know how to do it, it's so many people that God will put you pray about it, God put in your way, and you could and, and it'll let it'll give you the knowledge and the information so you will know how to do it, right? And then you got so many, so much stuff. Like I say, I'm the Google girl. That's that's what I say about um actually my niece, <laughs> my niece um Delandria. She uh she's the Google girl, and so I adapted that name from her. I'm the Google girl. I I Google everything. Every time my kids ask me something, I say Google it, cause you know what? It's a, it's out there. I ain't saying the first. Uh, first place that you see, I'm saying if you go five, six places, <clears throat> excuse me, and you see it, you know, and you know, um, five or six people can't be seeing the same thing and, and it ain't right. You know what I'm saying? And then if five or six ain't good for you, keep Googling in different places until you find that a whole bunch of people seeing the same thing. And that let you know, okay, so it's something that might be ranging true about this, right? So yeah, but don't, 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 um, don't pass on Google, cause Google is it. So anyway, guys, I want to say thank you so much, and I love you. Thank you guys for hanging out, and you know, want to know what the girls in is doing, you know, because that's you know we try to keep a positive space over here, but um. I just want to say continue to be blessed and com continue to show your blessed. And don't let nobody um, make you dumb down your blessing because uh, blessed is where it's at, right? So anyway, I love you guys so much, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.